welcome to the Decentralized Daily Podcast, where you get your daily dose of cryptocurrency news and information. The crypto news that matters to you. Nothing on this program should be confused with investment advice, because we don't give you any. It's not that kind of show, guys. Just the facts here, just the facts. So uh, sit back, relax, gather your thoughts, and prepare yourself for today's market movers in cryptocurrency. All right, all right, guys. Thanks for joining us on Decentralized Daily. It is March 1st, 2018, and here's your market movers. Bitcoin, as always, holding the number one spot, sitting at $10,893 as of this recording. It's up 2.87% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum, 871.46, it's up just half a percent. The centralized cryptocurrency Ripple is at 92 cents today. It's up 1.53%. Looks like these top five coins are all up a little bit, just slightly. Um, the rest of the altcoins, looks like there's a lot of confusion uh, in the market. I'm buying and selling, they can't make up its mind. Sitting in the number four spot is Bitcoin Cash or Bcash. $1,285. It's up 4.8% on the day. Litecoin still kind of battling with NEO for that number five spot. Uh, Cardano looks like it's slipped a little bit. But Litecoin sitting at $211 currently. It's up 1.68% for the day. Let's get into the news for the day. Article on a Coinbase reads Alibaba's T Mall is moving cross border e commerce to the blockchain. This author writes Alibaba's Tmall e-commerce platform is reportedly adopting blockchain technology in its cross-border supply chain through a partnership with logistic company Sinao. According to a report by China's news agency Xinhao Wednesday, the partnership aims to move information on goods for imports and exports onto a blockchain that can then track their country of origin, shipping port arrivals and methods, and customer report details. The new launch comes as Sinao, of which Alibaba is an investor, is doubling down on its belief that blockchain has a significant potential to be adopted for cross-border e-commerce. To that end, the partnership claims Chinese consumers from various cities covered by Sinao will be able to track the blockchain-based logistics information from some 30,000 goods from 50 countries through the e-commerce mobile application. The partnership also marks the latest move by Alibaba to improve consumer confidence in the battle against counterfeit goods. As reported previously, Alibaba has collaborated with PwC earlier in the year to develop a system that seeks to reduce food fraud using blockchain tech dubbed Food Trust Framework. So what does this all mean for the crypto space, guys? I think what we're seeing is just a growth in the implementation of blockchain technology. Not every company out there is trying to come up with their cryptocurrency and try to see their coin moon. Um, I think the main thing we're seeing now is that Companies are seeing the true potential in blockchain technology and having decentralized uh, immutable ledgers. And they're implementing them in, in, in different ways, but not always to, to have a cryptocurrency that you can exchange and, and, and all that. But I think, you know, the base technology behind blockchain uh, is something that companies can use for their advantage. I think we're seeing that more and more, and we're going to see it, you know, even more and more in the future. In other news... Another article out of Coindesk today. Payment provider Fleetcore to pilot Ripple's XRP cryptocurrency. Everybody's favorite, Ripple. <laughs> this article reads, Workforce in fleet payment provider Fleetcore Technologies has become the latest to trial Ripple's XRapid product, which utilizes its custom crypto cryptocurrency XRP. New York-based financial consultants Cambridge Global Payments, which Fleetcore acquired last year, will also be part of the partnership, a Ripple spokesman said. Cambridge has been a Ripple client since 2017, though it has largely used the startup's ex-current product. Stepping back, the news comes over a month after telecom provider IDT and payments provider Mercury signed on to pilot XRapid. Similarly, MoneyGram soon after revealed it was piloting the same product to test its speed and efficiency from international payments as previously reported. At present, the companies must use pre-funded bank accounts in various countries in order to facilitate transactions. 
That doesn't sound sketchy at all, guys. <laughs> a Mexican financial services company, Coolix, has been using XRP as an alternative since last year and noted a recent blog post that the liquidity provided by XRapid helps its process direct payments between the U.S. and its southern neighbor both quickly and cheaply. Various other companies have also signed on with Ripple in recent months using its blockchain technology stacks, but not XRP, to ease cross-border transactions. Over the past few months, Abu Dhabi-based UAE exchange, China-based Linlian, and UK arm of Sadinter Bank have all signed on to use XCurrent. At the time, the companies largely announced they were looking to lower the cost and time required to send funds across borders. So, what we're seeing with Ripple is exactly what I think what Ripple wants us to see. Um, they are trying to make it cheaper to transact between countries. Uh, I think their their main goal at the beginning was for banks to be able to transact from one country to another. Um, and now we're, I think we're seeing more and more banks and more and more companies implementing Ripple into their business model to lower the cost and lower the time that it takes to send money overseas. It's something that's super, super expensive and really, really complicated and slow right now with the SWIFT network. And so we actually are seeing implementation of Ripple. What does this mean for Ripple in the future? Well, I guess we'll just have to sit back and watch, guys. That just about does it for your Decentralized Daily today, March 1st, 2018. I appreciate everybody listening in. You can follow us on Twitter at, at Detalk Podcast. Also, we're on Facebook. Make sure to subscribe to our channel on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Google Play Music, and Spreaker. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great day.